to add to your photo more deepness and make your models pop up from the photo. In this video I will show you a simple but so crucial Lightroom Classic editing trick that you would like to use all the time. So launch your Lightroom Classic and let's do this editing! So on the screen you can see the photo I'm going to work on today and if you still don't know what the difference between Lightroom and Lightroom Classic, please let me know in comments down below, I will be happy to make a new tutorial with explaining all features of these two softwares. So our first step will be creating a comfortable speed for us in editing process. For this we need to select the photo we are going to work on, open library from top menu bar, click previews and build a smart previews. This action allows us to create a photo version that is much lighter than the original photo and in the same time that allows Lightroom Classic to process any different of editing process much quicker than it may usually takes. I will use just build one photo smart preview. If you would like to work with a set of photos, for example, if you're a photographer and you have uh, 500 photos to edit, be sure to build smart previews as this will change your editing game for sure. I will click build one. This process was fast. With more photos it takes a bit more time. So click OK when you are ready and let's go into the develop section and start our editing process. Our first step will be opening the mask section and click on the subject which will allow automatically select the subjects on your photo. In the case if Lightroom Classic cannot detect any models on your photo but you are sure they are there, just go with another option. For this I will delete the created mask and repeat the action only by choosing objects tool. Here I will increase the size of the brush and paint over the models just to give Lightroom Classic a better understanding where my model is located. It's still missing some parts and then I will repeat the same action by clicking on add button and select objects once again, repeat the same action and let's wait for now what is going to be. The same is applied to the areas that are accidentally selected, for example if here would be selected some greens or maybe a part of the castle, I would click on the subtract button and choose again brush and paint over the areas that I don't want to be selected. So when the selection of the models are ready, you can check it once again by clicking on this checkbox, switch on and switch off the selection. Ok, let's come back to our models and now we need to create a selection of the background. For this click on these three dots and choose duplicate and invert mask. This will allow us to manipulate with two very important areas of this photo. This will be the background area and models area. Be sure to check on the checkbox and take away the color filament of the masking areas just for your more comfortable work. And with the selected background mask, let's make a further manipulation to add more deepness to the background. For this, I will decrease the exposure a bit, add more contrast to the background. And one of my favorite tools, I will decrease the textures in the background, which will make it a bit more blurred. Also, if you enjoyed the work in Lightroom Classic and want to know more editing tips and tricks with this software, please take time to check video over here where I shared how to create a smooth and natural portrait retouching for your photos and all this by using Lightroom Classic masks. Let's come back to the editing process and as our background is already edited, you can simply check before and after results by clicking on this eye icon near the mask layer with your left mouse button. When you hold it, the layer is disappeared and you can see the original background and when you let it off you can see the editings we already made to the background. I will make a few more adjustments here, I would like to make more contrast. And now let's add a bit touch to our models, for this select the models mask, be sure you don't select the checkbox show overlay and let's add a bit white to make our models pop up. To check before and after results of your editing just click this key on the keyboard and you already can see how only in few minutes with such simple editing our photo transformed and background got more depth and models pop up from the photo. And that's it! Thank you very much for watching this video till the end! If you would like to dive deeper into masks in Lightroom Classic, please check video over here where I share how using masks you can create a beautiful gentle bouquet effect on your photography. And from you a big thumb up to this video if you really enjoyed the Lightroom Classic tutorial and from me many new editing tutorials in the future! Thank you very much! See you very soon! Bye bye!